guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick little um, update. Let me clean my messy room first. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys a quick little update on my no buy low buy for the month of January. I kind of just wanted to update you guys, let you know how much money I've saved, what it's been like, and just kind of an update for you. I actually vlogged a little bit and I'll put that footage in of like things when they were happening. I just want to let you know so far I have saved close to $1,700 in one week. That's ridiculous. It's only been a week into the whole month of the no buy and I've learned a lot about myself and that is that I definitely have a shopping problem. It was really hard as we got close to like the seventh day and I was just like, I need to go to the thrift store, <laughs> like an addict. I actually made Travis take me to the thrift store just to like go in there to pretend like I was gonna like shop around or like shop around but not buy anything. And that actually helped me. I think for some people that'd be like way too tempting, but I didn't even find anything that I liked. If I did and I like needed it or I really loved it, I maybe would have gotten it, but thankfully I didn't find anything. But so far I've done amazing. I have not bought one thing. The only things where like money has come out of my account are things that were like automatically taken out of my account that maybe I forgot about. And then once I saw those things, I like canceled them. Anyway, for the most part, we've done really good. We've eaten so much stuff from like our pantry and our fridge. Like we're almost completely out of stuff that we definitely need to go grocery shopping. We're probably gonna do that today. For the whole week I wrote down things that like I was getting ready to buy and then stop myself and it came out to almost $1,700, which is ridiculous. The good thing is, I, like I said, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning to be more disciplined and it feels good to know that like I saved $1,700, but it also um, sucks to know that like I get a lot of fulfillment enjoyment out of buying things and I really need to find ways to find enjoyment in different ways because it's just not good. <laughs> that I like shopping so much. But I did vlog some of the stuff and what it was like in the moment. So I am going to go ahead and share that footage with you guys here if you guys care to see that. Hey guys, so just wanted to check in. I thought it would be kind of fun to do a little video diary of our no buy for the month of January and kind of like what it's like. So today's January 1st. I've already stopped myself from buying two things on Amazon before 10 a.m. So that just goes to show like the shopping problem that I have. Now we are meeting our family at the beach because Travis is gonna go surfing with some of them. But where we live, we have to pay for parking. There is some free parking, but it's very hard to find. And so normally there's a structure, we can just go pay $4 for like three hours or something. But now that we're on our no buy, we've been driving around for about 10 minutes trying to find free parking. It's just a little bit more inconvenient. Just a little update, we did end up finding free parking. We just had to drive a little bit further and it really wasn't that bad. And we saved $4 late night kitchen talks. It is 8.20 p.m. I'm currently making a chicken quesadilla and it is all vegan. This is the um, plant-based chicken that I get. It's the Tofurky brand. It's really good. It comes like, already seasoned. I like to put it like on salads and... <sighs> I just got back from a run. Hashtag running hair. I am in my pajamas with Bed hair. I'm using chow cheese. You can make like chicken roll ups or sandwiches, you know, whatever. Wanted to update you guys on my no buy, low buy so far. If you are new and you have no idea what that means or what I'm talking about because you haven't watched my past videos, it basically means that I, for the month of January, am doing my best to not buy anything. So right now, we are using all the food we have in our house and somebody asked me today what is your biggest worry or concern about the no buy and one of those things is i am not a huge cook in fact i'm not really good at it i don't necessarily enjoy it i like baking some things but i like really have to be in the mood to like want to cook and so i buy a lot of pre-packaged and processed foods which is like horrible for you horrible for the environment and so Right now, I'm trying to do my best to make more food at home and so, and also pack lunches. So tomorrow, we're actually going to look at some cabins up in the mountains and I'm gonna be packing lunches for the family because it's like over three hours away and like snacks and drinks and coffees and all the things. And so I'm kind of prepping the night before, which is now, to make some of those things so they're ready to go. So that's like one thing that's kind of a little bit of an adjustment because normally I would Normally I would just like be like, oh, let's buy stuff on our way or when we get there. But then I also um, 
<laughs> realized our realtor out there was like um, make sure you fill up on gas before you like take off to this area because there's like nowhere <laughs> to get gas so we're looking in like a very remote location there is like nothing out there which is what we want we wanted to buy like a cabin that's really secluded and in the middle of nowhere to like get away from the city and to be able to like airbnb and have a tiny house and all the fun things okay so let me just update you guys so far on what's been going on and how it's been it's been a lot easier than i thought it's going to be granted it's only like january 2nd <laughs> but january 1st before 10 a.m i had to stop myself from buying two things on amazon and it was because i want to start making my own vegan chapstick and I ran out of chapstick and I have any more and I had already bought ingredients for it but I didn't realize it's gonna need more and I didn't have them so I went to go buy them and I'm like oh no I can't buy anything so I have to kind of use what I have so that was a challenge the other thing was just little things like I have a phone charger that I keep upstairs it's like that's plugged in to the wall by my bed where I keep my phone charging at night and that just stays up there I don't like unplug it and bring it downstairs to plug in down here for when I'm down here I have like a charger just for this floor and it stopped working and so I was getting ready to go buy a new one and then I stopped myself so now I don't have a charger down here so just little things like that that you don't normally think about those are like the little adjustments I think it's more inconvenient so far in my no buy i'm really proud of myself i feel like i'm doing a really good job and it's also really forcing me to think about how to be creative and figure out other ways to make do with what i already have instead of having to buy new stuff so one of my concerns is once we run out of like stuff like this the chicken and the fake cheese and you know a lot of like the packaged stuff that makes my life a lot easier when when i'm cooking or like making food i think that's going to be difficult for me and trying to get creative with food stuff that we already have at the house to make something that's like nutritious and also tastes good <laughs> thankfully my husband's really good at that but i'm not I'm just like really hoping that i don't need something really bad and like can't buy it because obviously like we're paying our bills and we have to buy food like if for some reason we like totally run out you know but it's just it's very interesting so far in case anyone was wondering what my chicken quesadilla looks like and there it is so some of the things we've been doing to try to um do a low buy for grocery shopping is i love apple juice and so i had my last apple juice and i want it to last longer so i put it in this mason jar like half apple juice and then i put a bunch of water in it to kind of like water it down so i still had apple juice and then this over here are homemade lara bars and i don't know if you guys have ever had them before they're really good and they're very healthy but they are very expensive at the store i think for like four of the kind we were getting like four bars it was like six dollars and i just thought that was crazy so we made our own and they were really really easy to make so we are trying to go more zero waste so there is parchment paper in here so we're just going to reuse it until we can't anymore we are using up a lot of the things that we have now so for instance um i showed this in a video when i was making my coffee and I bought a ton of these when I bought my coffee maker. So I am obviously gonna use them up. Once they're gone, I'll find, you know, a more eco-friendly zero waste alternative. But, you know, part of being zero waste or eco-friendly is using up the things you already have. So if you see me using things that are not very eco-friendly, it's most likely because they're stuff that I already had that I'm trying to use up and get rid of before I replace it with something more eco-friendly. For instance, like you'll see us having Ziploc bags, um, although we do have a stasher bag somewhere. Oh, and these are recyclable. So I do recycle them, I save them in here. Here's our stasher bag. So we do have that but again we have all this so we're just going to use it up until it's gone um and then another thing is we do have paper towels this is actually our last roll and then i found some from like christmas ornaments that i was like padding them so they wouldn't break and i like took that out and i saved it so we can use those but we've been just using rags so you know we don't go through paper towels and i actually like these better than paper towels we have like a ton of them in here you know we just wash them with our wash and or with our clothes or whatever and use these instead of paper towels so once paper towels are gone we're just going to be using rags and stuff in the kitchen from now on if we go to my mom's for dinner and um we have like leftovers or something we will bring our own reusable tupperware so that we can have leftovers and then if you look at our fridge um I get scared because when we get low on stuff, but you know, we have a lot of these like 
reusable containers that we use stuff. And then um, we have all these like revive smoothies that were sent to us that I haven't even tried yet, but I need to. I finally got a blender, so I really need to test these out and see if I like them. But there's tons of them, like different flavors. So I'm excited to try those out. And you know, we have some, a lot of stuff. I make Snow's like homemade baby food instead of buying those expensive pouches. She's all out of them right now. Oh, I made, I made homemade apple butter also. So we still have these pouches to go through, but um, I bought reusable pouches and all this stuff is linked on my Amazon storefront, like my rechargeable lighter and all that stuff. And I normally keep a link for all that in the description box below. It just says like Amazon storefront. And then you'll see a lot of the stuff that we use. It's all linked there. So these are her reusable pouches and you just make the baby food and then you just spoon it in there. That's how I do it. It's like a kitchen tour. <laughs> My mom actually bought some of these really cool jars, like mason jars. We went to the thrift store and we couldn't find any. So she ended up getting some from Target. Like how cool are these? I can't wait to like use those fun glass jars. So she gave me some of them cause she wasn't going to use all of them, but that's kind of like what's going on and you know we're using cloth diapers now when she runs out of cloth like we'll use disposables but oh my god these are so good hello everyone okay so i am making lunches now and it's things like this like this pre-packaged like vegan meat that i feel like is not very <laughs> zero waste and it's going to be kind of interesting to say the least to try to find alternatives for fake chicken you know, like i eat a lot of this like processed stuff you know and it's just so easy and convenient and so i think that's going to be one of the hardest things to switch as far as food stuff goes just because i'm so used to everything being so easy right now i am throwing together some sandwiches and i made some little chicken strip things for snow and i'm just going to put these all in like glass Tupperwares and meal prep containers. Packing reusable like napkins, which are these like little muslin cloths. They're like stained and gross, but I mean, they're clean and they get the job done. We really don't have very much in our fridge right now. Like we've ran out of a lot of stuff. So kind of just using what we have. And I ran out of cheese. I only have one slice left. So I'm using this vegan cream cheese as a replacement. Just trying to use up everything we have before we buy new stuff. I have just a little bit left in here. So I'm just gonna put it on this sandwich too. It'll be extra cheesy and delicious. I almost feel like I'm cheating because I am an influencer or social media. Like, oh my God, you can't even see me. Hold on. Blogger fail because I like have a pretty large following on social media and I'm in the middle of a no buy, I normally would have just gone and bought a bunch of stuff that we need, like dishwashing soap and like a new scrubber. Like our sponge is so gross, you guys, I can't even tell you. It's like way overdue for a new one. It's like falling apart and just like disgusting and gross. And then this is our soap we've been using and it's just Dr. Bronner's, but this is like deteriorating. It's just gross, like we need to get a new one. And so instead of, buying one i actually reached out to a few like zero waste brands on instagram and i only asked for products i absolutely needed in exchange for like a dishwashing block soap and a new scrubber i would be more than happy to promote you and let people know like where i got these products from on my social media like my youtube whatever and so far like i was really surprised like majority of them the places got back to me and were like yeah sure no problem and so i was like oh but i almost felt like kind of like i was cheating because i'm like oh that's not fair like not everybody is able to do that you know because not everyone has a big following but i still think even if you don't have a big following that you could still try that because a lot of companies believe it or not will do that in in exchange for like you know a good review because even like one person that maybe doesn't have a lot of followers, could know a lot of people in their community. I have a friend, she is the most social butterfly, I swear to God. And I know that like if I had a product or a business, I would be like, take everything for free and then let, pe let people know what you think about it. And I think that's such a great business model um, is like word of mouth and referrals. So don't let it discourage you like if you don't have a huge audience because you'd be surprised. Some companies might be like, yeah, sure. And if they say no, like don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Just don't give up, just keep contacting other companies, you know? There's a ton of them, so 
that's what I did. I'm really hoping that they do send, send the product out because I will be so excited to be promoting stuff that I'm actually using and that I think is good for the planet and the environment. Oh, I drank all my apple juice. Almost this is all I have left of my apple juice, you guys. <laughs> I have a juicer, so if I bought apples, I could make my own apple juice. So I might try that because I just love apple juice so much. It's like, I don't drink sodas. I don't drink like anything. I, I just drink water and apple juice, like that's it. Ugh, this lettuce is like not even very good. I'm gonna have to pull out like certain pieces that are, we wait too long to eat this stuff. And I have lettuce growing in the garden, but it's not ready. Man, you'd be surprised like with what you can pull together when you ha have no choice but to pull it together. Like I would have been like, oh, we don't really have very much, like, and we're running late, so let's just like pick up something on the way. A lot of times, because we're vegan, we do this anyways, like especially if we're traveling, we don't, like where we're going is like, there's like nothing. <laughs> Never been to where we're going before, so I'm a little nervous, but at least we will have food. I have a little helper. Are we gonna show them what we packed? So we have two of her homemade baby foods. We have some oatmeal in here, here for her. The rest of my apple juice. We're bringing the whole thing of Lara bars for the family. Got some leftovers in here, beans and rice. I made a quesadilla, chicken quesadilla last night and then I heated up some of those chicken tenders so we can snack on those and that can also be for snow. And then I made two sandwiches and I can share that with snow as well. And then I'm getting ready to make coffee and also some waters. So this is what we are bringing with us on our road trip. Um, we are bringing this huge water because my husband insisted and then we just filled up two water bottles since we're bringing that whole, this whole thing and we'll just refill it. Um, snow has two of her milks. This is not, my milk, this is like nut milk and soy milk. And then we have coffees. I drink two coffees a day, so I filled up my two coffees and then Travis has his. And then we have our bag of all of our food. This, these um, we got a long time ago. So again, just using up what we have and yeah, getting ready to jump on the road. Yesterday I stopped myself from buying a $2,000 drone. But I can tell you that I've saved so far this month from the snow glide, and it's what, January 18th? So in 18 days, I've saved over $6,000. So every time I was getting ready to go buy something, I would write it down and put the total amount of what it would have costed. That $6,000 that I saved is now going to our IVF medications. If you guys are doing the no buy with me, let me know how it's going for you. I'm curious to know. So let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video. My hair is so, is my hair looking like this the whole video? Ah, of course it was. I'm such a wreck. Like out of everybody, I'm sure people like check their videos or like start filming and like look at what they look like before they start filming and I don't, I literally turn the camera and jump in front, I don't even look in the mirror, like what is wrong with me? <laughs> Clearly a lot.